Hey guys, it's Lisa from tocreatorwebsite.com and I'm finally doing a video on how to create a YouTube channel banner. Been getting a lot of requests for this, so I thought I'd do a video. Typically I'll do these types of videos on my to create a website channel, which is like my programming, Photoshop, CSS, kind of like my, my technical programming channel. But I've been getting so many requests on the Lisa 3876 channel that I decided to upload it to both. So make sure you subscribe to both of my channels because one I say for the technical programming videos and then my other one is for marketing so and, and traffic and making money. So make sure you subscribe to both. Don't ask why I have two. It's a long story, but just please subscribe to both of my channels. So anyway, how I created this channel banner was fairly easy if you have just a basic understanding of Photoshop or any type of graphic program. The first thing you need to know is in order to have this channel banner on the top of your YouTube channel homepage is you need to become a partner and a partner simply allows you to display ads alongside your videos and you earn money when people click on your ads. That's really all it is. In order to become a partner, you have to have a certain number of subscribers, video views, channel views. It really depends. I'm not going to throw out numbers because it varies depends on the quality of your videos and I've heard of some people getting in with 200 subscribers I've heard of some people having to wait to get in until they had 800 subscribers so it really depends on the quality of your video and how many views you have it's the collective picture that YouTube looks at so just FYI so once you become a partner you can go to youtube.com slash partners to learn more about it you will have this tab here that says branding options and that's where you go to upload your banner but before you do that, I'm going to show you how to create like a little simple banner in Photoshop. So the first thing I did is I went to file new and you're going to give it a size. I think the maximum size and it, it'll tell you on YouTube, but I think it's like 960 and the uh, maximum maximum height is like 150, but we're going to make it 130 and the color I want it to be because we're going to use this lady down here as like the the lead logo for this image and I want the background of the banner to be this green behind her so I've already selected it over here I should have done, should have showed you that but I didn't um, so we're gonna use the background color which is already selected right here and so it gives me a green palette so how did I make this green I just clicked it used the eyedropper tool selected um, this area that I wanted and see it changes the color up here so if I wanted to do this yellow I would click here and then notice the yellow color changes here, but I want this green. So I said, okay. So when I said file new, I told it to use this background color. So that's how I did that. So now this picture that I'm using here is just a picture. Let's pretend it's your logo, but I just got this picture off of uh, photos.com since I'm a subscriber. And what you're going to do is take the move tool, which is up here. And I'm going to click on her here and just drag. Oops. I got the wrong layer. Make sure you hold down the control key and hit click with your mouse to select the right layer. And I'm going to drag her up to my new palette and you can just move her around. You're just going to move her. And okay, let's say you want a title for your banner. So you're going to come up here and click the text tool. And then you're going to click and you're going to type a name. Your site dot com and as you can see it's um too high so that's okay we're gonna hit the check button check box up here click the move tool again because we want to move that layer we just created and you're gonna click and drag and you're just gonna move oh and we got an error here it's okay click the text tool and you're gonna backspace there we go hit the check button there so we're good now Let's say you want some tabs, like I have some tabs going across my banner here. You're going to click the rectangle tool and you're going to go where you want the tabs to go. And you're going to click and drag. Right? And let's say you wanted to change the color of that. You didn't want it to be black. You can come over here to this layer that you've just created. You're going to right click and you're going to say blending properties. I know I'm going real fast for you guys that don't use Photoshop, but you can always pause it or rewind. <laughs> and let's change the color. We're going to select color overlay. 
and see how it turned it red because that's the default. So let's make it yellow. Okay. So we're going to say, okay. Notice how I just selected the palette and said, okay. And let's give it a little stroke. Come on. And it's either default is red. Let's make the stroke, I don't know, black. Say okay. And you can change the size of the stroke here. So if you want to make it big, small. I like to do one and then I position the stroke inside. And we'll say okay. And so now, as you can see, we've got a tab. So you want to fill that tab with some text. So we're going to go back. Let me make sure I'm always selecting the top layer here because you always want the layer to be on top. So we're going to click the text tool. You can type here. I, I just always type it over here because I have trouble sometimes when I type on another shape. So let's say home because this is going to be one of our links. Okay, it's too big, right? So we're going to select it. And those of you guys who are masters at Photoshop, you're probably like, you could have done this, you could have done that. I know I'm not a master. I can just do enough to be dangerous, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna make it a little bigger. And how I'm changing the size of this guy, so I'm just selecting it and I'm coming up here and changing the size, okay? So we're gonna say check. Now I wanna move this. So we use the move tool up here. Ta-da! So there's our first tab. And then you, in order to do more, you could just come over here. Remember, Photoshop or any graphic program is all about layers. So you're going to hold down the control key and click your mouse on the layer you want to duplicate. Okay. And so over here, when I did that, it selected this is the layer that I want to duplicate. So I'm going to right click this layer and say duplicate layer. And it gives me a default name. You can change the name if you want and you just say OK. So now I can take my move tool, which is already selected up here. And look at that, I've got another shape and it's the same size and you can use the arrow keys to get it where you want to go, blah, 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 blah. And so you're done. So then you would go through the same thing. You can, you could duplicate this layer that says home and create another text layer and change the name and move it over or however you want to do it. So let's pretend we're done. Um, and so we're going to go to file, save as, I always save my um, channel banners as PNG files. It's a, it's a better quality file. So we're going to save it as a PNG. Let's put it on the desktop to find it easier. And we're going to name it channel banner. And we're going to save it. Okay. So now we're done with our image. Now what you want to do is you want to make all of these links or these tabs actually go to different websites. See how I made all these links here, actually active links? You're going to have to go to another site called image-maps.com. And what it does, it creates an image map to make your graphic clickable. So what you're going to do is you're going to upload the image you just created. You're going to click browse and we're going to go to the desktop and we're going to look for the PNG. There it is. And you're going to say, start mapping your image. And after you do that, they'll tell you that the image has been uploaded. There it is. And you're going to say, continue to next step. Now, in order to make everything a hyperlink, you simply draw a rectangle around it and then enter the, the URL. So over here on the right, there's this box that says rectangle, or you can do a custom shape if your boxes are not rectangular. So you click rectangle and it automatically brings up this pop up and see here's the, the rectangle here. So what you're going to do is you're going to move it over your image or your tab and you're going to stretch it, stretch it until it fits and then you type where you want the link to go. So this would be your site. Sorry, I'm trying to type with this microphone in a very odd place. I don't know why I'm doing this like this. <laughs> so you're going to say save and you're going to repeat and you're going to do this for all of the things that you want to become hyperlinks. And if you want to do this with your logo or your title, you can do the same thing if you want it to also be hyperlinked. Okay. Let's pretend I put the right address in there. So you're going to say save. 
After you're done, you're gonna say, get your code. And you're gonna come up here and say, HTML code. And this is the code that you have to give to YouTube in order to make your image clickable. So you're gonna just control A and then control C to copy all that code. I know it looks ugly, but fortunately you don't have to know what any of it does. You just have to paste it. <laughs> so you're gonna go back to your YouTube channel and you're gonna go to branding options and you're going to go and you have to put in the height of your banner because they ask for it. They don't ask for the width, they only ask for the uh, height. Um, you can't see it because mine is already here, but there will be a place here for you to browse and upload the banner that you just created in Photoshop or whatever program you used, okay? So then you put your height in here, um, this is optional, and then this is where you paste that code that you just got from imagemaps.com, okay? So you paste that in, then you come down, you say save changes, and voila, you have a channel banner like me, and it's clickable. So you can apply this for any type of channel banner that you want to create. Just remember, you have to be a YouTube partner. Watch my video on Lisa3876 that talks about becoming a YouTube partner. I have some just tips and information, but again, it depends on how many subscribers you have. It's not one size fits all. So please don't think it's just a specific number. It varies depending on the quality of your video. So I hope this guy, this video has helped you out guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.